Welcome back to the channel. It's Randy Zadig, and we're going to talk some stuff about Halloween Horror Nights. What's actually going to happen out there? We don't know, but we're going to talk about what we think is going to happen. Hey, how's it going out there, everybody? Uh, we've got some exciting news to talk about Halloween Horror Nights, and we've got some uh, maybe not so good news. Uh, we don't really know positively. Let's just talk about the bad real quick. Uh, today, Orange County's uh, mayor actually issued uh, a mask recommendation, a state of emergency. You can't do a mandate because uh, Governor DeSantis says you can't do that. But he's uh, recommending everyone in the uh, Orange County District uh, to impose that mask mandate. So, um, will masks be in place for Halloween Horror Nights? I'm going to say probably yes. <laughs> so, get used to putting that mask back on. But uh, from what we understand, there's going to be uh, some of the scare zones are coming up. Like the very, when you walk into the park, that's going to be the 30th anniversary scare zone. I mean, this is kind of speculation, but that's what we think is going to be when you walk in. You're going to see this big old 30th anniversary cool scare zone. As you go down the road, down the way, and you know, you probably have a couple haunted houses off to the left of, of you know, of uh, down there. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I'm not positive, but a Bride of, a Frank, a Bride of Frankenstein was over in that area uh, last time. So maybe that. That will be back there as well. Then as you go down into the uh, New York area, that uh, we've seen uh, pictures. And uh, if you've been in the park, you've seen the uh, the truck or whatever it is. Uh, that's going to be the seek and destroy um, scare zone from what we understand. Something about an alien attack. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not positive about this. Like I said, this is all speculation from what I understand. Um, then the, as you go down into San Francisco, you know, there's always a scare zone down in that area. And that's supposed to be like, I think, uh, the Crypt Keeper or something, Crypt Keep, I don't know, something like that. That's going to be down in that area, I guess, um, based out of Crypt Keeper. We know that's off the, uh, the, uh, TV show and stuff. Um, so or the movie, whatever you want to talk about. Uh, then, um, as you go around, you'll have the, um, the all the way around, you go back into that one area where you usually have the punk, pumpkins up there in the tree. It's a really cool area. It's really tight. Lots of smoke through the area. It's really, a really creepy little area. Um, that is supposed to be, uh, Something based after a terror queen or something like that. Not really sure. Just heard a little rumble about it. Um, some people were talking about it. I'm just, you know, like I said, the people were talking about it. I'm picking up what they're talking about. So um, that's what that's going to be. And I guess there's going to be like a terror queen stage there where they'll do, you know, dancing or what. I don't, I don't know. Singing, welcoming you to the park, you know, like they've done in the past. So. Um, and then the last scare zone, I believe is, well, it's always Hollywood Boulevard. So if you take a right, you're going to go right into it. Or if you come all the way around, either way, if you leave that way, you're going to walk into uh, um, Eddie or Jack. Uh, no. What is it? Yeah, Eddie. Eddie zone. It's like an Eddie zone. I'm not, I think this is a, a, a friend of, uh, of Jack. <laughs> I'm not positive about this. So, I mean, this is kind of speculation what we've heard rumbles come from some people. And in the uh, scare zone, or not scare zone, but the uh, where the old fear factory used to be and where there was a U rest zone, um, they had some, you know, Bill and Ted was there. We were hoping that Bill and Ted was going to come back, but I've heard something about um, maybe the uh, 
the, 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 they had a, like a, oh God, I cannot remember the name of that thing. Maybe you guys can help me out, but they had a, some really cool contortionists and stuff like that were in this last show, or it may be, um, um, a Jack show or something like, I don't know, Jack the clown, something. I don't know that, that they talked about that last year. So maybe that's what's going to happen because you know, did all the shows or the t-shirts and stuff. And, uh, that would kind of make sense too, but they may do that somewhere else. I don't know. Uh, also the, uh, the cool thing I've heard that they're going to do the return of the lagoon show where they had the water going up and, you know, playing, you know, uh, cool music and stuff like that. So that's going to return as well. So that, I'm, that, that'll be cool. Uh, uh, that was a lot of fun last time. Um, so, and also, um, we, we ran into a house and I know people, have, uh, some other people have seen it, but they've kind of looked over the wall at Men in Black. But we actually got to see it a little closer than that. Uh, we kind of stumbled on it. Um, so we'll show you that right now. So uh, taking the dog for a little pee break and stumbled upon this. So we talked about uh, Halloween Horror Nights coming up soon. So in September, they're going to start having Halloween Horror Nights. And this is one of the houses that hasn't been announced. We found out that. So that's pretty cool. A scary place. Huh. Pretty cool. Don't know, but it's pretty cool. So, uh... so what do you think of that? Scary. And it said Cary, Ohio. Every, have you noticed that over the years, they've always used Cary, Ohio. Um, that's going all the way back to the original Fright Nights. I believe it's either Fright Nights or Halloween Horror Nights 2 or 1 or whatever you want to call it. Um, so it goes all the way back to there, um, which is kind of cool. Kind of keeping that reference going on every year. You know, there's always something. If you look at um, every one of the houses, um, and you may find a, um, reference to that in some of the houses, not every one of them, but some of them you'll find at least one will have some kind of reference to that. Um, so that's kind of cool. Now, um, we heard today on the news that, uh, Universal is hiring up to 2000 people to be part of Halloween Horror Nights, paying uh, $15 and, and up, I believe, for everything from, um, you know, people serving drinks, whatever, you know, just being part of the event. So if you'd like to do that, check out Universal's website. I'm sure you can uh, find out all the information on their website. And uh, that'd be pretty cool if you uh, get to work there. And maybe we'll see you there. So, but that's what we found out today. Um, Hopefully that helps you uh, know what's happening and what's coming up at Halloween Horror Nights. We're all excited for it. Although we're not excited that the COVID numbers are going up in this area and we're not excited that we're going to have to wear a mask. But hey, I'm all about whatever's safe and uh, got to make it through this fourth wave. So until next time, you guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And um, it helps out the channel and it helps us pro, you know, push along until we get to 1,000 subscribers. That's what we're trying to get to, 1,000. So hit that like, hit that subscribe button and uh, help us out. All right, until next time, guys. Have a great one. We'll see you next time on The Attic.